Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Miss Adventures with Mixed Media. I'm here with my squeaky chair. I'm not sure exactly where to put the oil to make it to stop squeaking. Otherwise, I would have done that by now. I probably could uh, have my dad do it when he comes back. Or my husband. I don't know. I think my dad would know better where the joints and whatnot are. Um, I thought I would just uh, do some... I'm just going to do whatever it is I'm feeling like doing today. And I don't even know what that is yet. Uh, but I thought I would go ahead and in case you missed the live stream I did with the half ass crafter uh, These are the index cards that I made So I thought I would go ahead and show these Real quick This was some uh, collage paper that uh, Laura from the half ass crafter had sent me And uh, I got some inks and some doodling on that one Some uh, pattern paper on that one and that wasn't even planned. I happened to use the blue and yellow back there. And then the stickers happened to have blue and yellow. So that was kind of cool. And that one's just got some stamping and just a piece of paper and a focal point. That one's got some inking. And then these I inked and I just haven't finished them. They, they need a little bit more done to them. But these are done and I just wanted to show you real quick so I could put them in my finished box. Because I try to show you stuff and then I... Uh, you know move it on to the next step oh and I had some happy mail so I wanted to show you that uh, if you remember uh, in remember I had Patty as my scraps partner and she sent me this beautiful um, piece with these this all this nice lace and everything it's a little bit gringy in places and so she sent me that which I love um, I think it might have to be like a, on the top like a journal cover kind of a deal like you know, like this size journal would be perfect. So I'm thinking about covering this and um, just, I think I've got some, um, some, uh, yeah, some journaling in here. So I might um, collage on those pages and uh, turn that into a little art journal maybe. We'll see. So, and also I was thinking, because I've got these little tiny journals here. Whoops, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. All my journals are all attach all right so these i don't know if they came from target or what but i thought well they might make really cute places to uh just make some little art journals with the prompts and stuff and then if it turns out that it's like really nice and i could do you know take it out use it as a pocket somewhere or something i don't know we'll see but i have like two of those one's partially full one's mostly full and then i also had this notebook too <laughs> 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 my little bacon and eggs and avocado and cheese I was trying to come up with a cute little thing for keto at some point back when I was doing it, that was way back uh, so yeah that one's still pretty blank too so I thought that is just a little Christmas tree shops journal might want to I like to do small things sometimes and then this just is a sketchbook and it's just got all kinds of weird notes actually I don't know that one had some some stuff in it I don't know this one I liked um I don't know my aunt gave it to me at some point and it's all filled out I don't know why I brought that over I thought there were some blank pages in it apparently and then what else I've got this was just a notebook I made one time I think it's just a journal just some regular journaling in there yep but I collaged on the on the uh, cover this was like probably Oh, I don't know what does it say did I date anything no I don't I don't and date I don't date stuff apparently <laughs> so I don't even know what year this is from uh, back, back at the beginning of my trying to find myself kind of video there's a lot of blank pages in there too because it says who am I so that was probably it might have been around 2019 and that's when my um my uh, art journey started so, yeah, that's interesting little notebook I've got there. This one, I think, was 2019. It's when I was trying to start, or maybe sooner, earlier. So there's, like, doodling. So I've been doing the doodling for a little while. And then... Just got some... This is back when the boys were homeschooling. So, oh wait, was there a date? The, oh, 2015. That's from 2015. So even though I didn't actually start doing um, art, mixed media more 
until 2019, I did do, you know, I was doing some stuff here and there throughout the years. Uh, and you might find out more about that if you go to PM Artist Studio live stream on February 25th. They will be interviewing me. So, you know, to find out a little bit more about me. And then, so here are some of the envelopes. Uh, this one, I think, is ready to go. I just, I drew some flowers on the front. And just kind of, oh, did some po uh, little dots all around. So that one, I think, is ready to be filled. This one, I just kind of did some white acidic writing over that. Just to lighten it up some. And then, I don't know, just got kind of bubbles coming into the bubbles. And more some. I don't know. That's how that one ended up. This one, oh, it's alright. Um, I just did some doodling on the edges there and there a little bit. So I think that one's good to go. I don't know if I want to do a glaze on that one. And this one, I did some doodling in there and there. I think, I don't know. I'm not sure about this part right here. But it's grungy, so you know, if someone likes grungy, they'll like that. And then this one, I just where the white spots were. I just came in and did some doodling with a fine pe fine line, like uh, what was my, it was one of these S gel pens. And then this one, I like this one. Um, where there were the pink spots, I just came in and doodled those and left some open. So that was kind of fun. Framed it out with some black marker. Just kind of framed that out. This one, I just added these little white bits. These little, they're going the other way on this side. And polka dots. Polka dots and like an olive green. Because, you know, a little clashy. Oh, and some stripes also. I don't love the stripes. Uh, this one, I came in with a Posca pen. I just kind of outlined the stencil. And then did doodling on the back. And then this one. Oh, this one was, uh, you know, it was this all over. So I made circles and covered with Posca pen. And then did the lines with the circles. And then, you know, just kind of did some marking, mark making there. And then this one goes this way. Did a couple flowers and I just kind of follow where the paint line is and then you know Posca pen which is an acrylic paint marker and you know with the polka dots and stuff and then some doodling on the back. I don't love, love some of these but some of them I, I really do like. This one I think came out really cool. So this one's still kind of busy because <laughs> it's got all the swirlies but now it's got some some spots and some flowers on there. They're kind of light. Don't know if you can see them very well. They're just kind of part of the background. And I had stamped that after the video, which you could kind of see um, in the, the thumbnail. That's the word I want. Uh, I haven't done anything to this one yet. I think I want to come in with some um, big white um, circles just to bring in some lightness. So that I still want to do another layer on. Oh, these and these I haven't done anything with yet. Oh, that one I did on the back. Just doodling. I don't love it. So I don't know if that one will go anywhere or not. And then that one's got that doodling. I, do, I don't love the pen that I used on that, but. And some of these I don't love, but you know, somebody else might. I like the back. So yeah, did I show you this one? And then there's this one which, you know, I just kind of outlined and then I went in some and uh, then did the, well see, I had, I did this green line, which goes nice with this. And then I did a pink line, which is not the same pink and I didn't like it. So I covered it with black and added more black and just kind of followed it there too and did the polka dots. So that's where I am with Happy Mail as far as adding more layers and whatnot. So these are Posca pens, P-O-S-C-A. They are pens that have different size nibs and are filled with uh, acrylic paint. And so that's what I did with most of these. So some of them have uh, these oil-based um, dual tip oil markers. I got those at five and below. So that is what I've been working on. Let's see. Just put my piles. Yeah, these all need. Well, that one's done. I can fill that one. 
I need to start filling the envelopes. I've got like 26. That's not a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, but that's okay. I, I did, I think the first group was like 12 that I sent out and this one's 26. So, but don't worry. I mean, oh, and, and uh, one of my uh, tax clients gave me some money to tip, he tips me always every year, like really, really well. And so that money will go towards buying stamps. So don't, so don't worry about that aspect of it. And everything else is just stuff that I've got here. Uh, I was thinking that maybe I would go ahead and start playing with some prompts. Um, I've got the paints here that I was using the other day. I'm going to keep those out because I might want to add some paint. Um here and there and whatever I decide to do. So my prompts will probably determine um, which journal I use, which art journal or whatever. So these, uh, I have a video where I made them. Um, to be honest, some of them ended up not getting anything but a word because there's a lot of prompts here because I was using Carrie's 100 uh, perpetual prompts and, and then some of my own, like lace was on my prompt list, I think. And uh, so some of these I have, I had two prompt lists I was working from and just picking the ones I liked and apparently I liked a lot of them. So, and I tried to make them large enough so that I could shuffle them. Not that that's super important. And by the way, that when I do the bridge, that um, that's, that's this other part after the shuffle. You know, when you shuffle, whoops, while well, you attempt to shuffle. And then this part here, I think it's called a bridge. My mom taught me to do that when I was 13. So I always think of her when I do that. She's been gone. Um, is it? Uh, her birthday is mo mo Monday and she's been gone um, 13 years this year in March. So one, I'm going to do five, two, three, four, Let's take from the bottom. This last one. Oh, it's lace. All right, five. And if you make prompt cards, make them however you want, whatever size you want. Maybe you'll find a container like I have and be able to just fit them perfectly in there if you make them the right size, you know? And I might, because there's so many prompts in here, I might go ahead and take out the ones that I use. Oh, orange. I don't have orange right here. Let's say orange, transport, music, lace, and time. So, so let me see. Orange, transport, music, space, and time. Let me get a couple things. So I've got options for stuff. Uh, I've got these lace doily um, stamps and I've got some other stamps. This one has a bicycle. That is transport. She has legs. That is transport. Um, there's a hot air balloon somewhere, but it's not where it's supposed to be. And there's clocks for time. I also have some trains and some vehicles and a ship for transport. Um, I kind of like this one because she tra is transporting herself across with her legs on a tightrope, which, you know, that, 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 that counts. It doesn't say it has to be transportation. So I think I'm going to pull her out. And then we'll see what else. And then for lace, I have the doilies. Sorry, that is loud, I know. And also I have these strips. I think I might do a strip of the lace. She could be walking across the lace. Why not? And might use some more of these too. You know, I like circles. Which is probably why I bought the doilies in the first place. Come on, go back in there. Go back in there. I know. It's it's a tight fit. I get it. Alright, so that is... So I don't need these anymore. They can go back in the box. Those I might need. I'll need that to put her back. And then, oh, time. 
and my chair is still squeaking. Is that what I said at the beginning of this one? Oh, and uh, I finally found a casualty to my decluttering. I can't find my, my music paper stash. I mean, I have music paper. Don't worry. You don't need to send me any. Um, but I, I know I had a box at one point, and I know I got rid of some, but I should still have, like, a pile of music stuff, like, this high, at least. And I looked everywhere. I can't think of a place that I haven't looked. And it's definitely not in the first place I looked. So, yeah. There's that. This one's... That's a... Oh, that's... And time it doesn't have to be a clock. But I don't really have much else. Okay. So, let's see. I kind of like this one because it's just numbers and um, but I like this one too because it's but this one also see they're all so we're just gonna kind of keep those to the side to have to use and then let's see that was lace and music I've got music paper I've got the music stamp and uh, lace time transport and then for orange I've got these flowers if I want to go orange orange I have these which kind of have orange centers and then uh, with the stuff that um oh that works too as transport because uh, he's riding bird oh I might want to do that as transport uh, these orangey pieces that came from Laura the uh, half-ass crafter came in her set of things so we will see where we go from here so I have all my stuff and I had a book I was going to work in. There it is. thought I'd just go ahead and work in this small one. Oh, and then I also have this if I want to go full on orange. This is a gel plate print from Laura as well. I'm just baffled, absolutely baffled that my music paper has totally disappeared and I can't find it anywhere and I've looked in every spot that it could possibly be and now and now patricia's gonna say i told you so she said she 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 doesn't think cleaning up is a good idea because you lose things i mean she's not wrong i did lose things but um yeah all right i'm going to start with some collage um i'm trying to think if i want to do a little orange um, inking or something just to bring it in. I mean, let's not be afraid of the, the orange, you know. This is Rusty Hinge. And if that's going to be an underpiece, I don't really need to do. And then if I do any gesso, the orange will just come up. It will wick up through the gesso. So... Ooh, you know music is kind of time too like if I if I were to get the oh it doesn't have it on this page um where is it why doesn't it say you know, I'm used to like music that tells me what the time is this music doesn't have the time but you know like uh four fours three four two two that kind of thing that's also time you know if you want to get all technical about it Alright, I want to take off this edge. Kind of want it straight-ish. I don't know where my rulers went. They're right here. I try, they're invisible. Well, they're not invisible, but you know they're clear, which makes it harder to see. So there's that. I don't really want the brackets. I'm just going to go right up to my treble clefts in the other cleft. I played flute. We didn't have the other cleft. If I played piano, I'd know what it is, but I didn't, so I don't. All right, we're not going to be afraid of the orange. Plus, if it's like a rusty orange, and it doesn't say, it doesn't say that it has to be like a bright orange. It could be whatever orange you want it to be. So there. So, yep, yeah, just using the art prompts, making an art journal page, and just a notebook. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that you all have notebooks that you started and never finished. Not all of you, but, but some of you, I'm pretty sure do. Alright, I changed my mind about this piece, didn't I? Alright, so oh, this glue's almost out. 
I'm just not going to be able to stop thinking. I mean, maybe I ended up sending it to the uh, thrift store by accident. And, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I do have, probably have some in some of the packs I've got. And so I could just go through and pull those out. Because most people already have music anyway. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I'm going to come down a little bit. Not put it all the way to the top. And already getting pretty... My glue's almost out and my glue has not had its cover on for several days. Because what I do is... I just kind of pull it up like that and put it in one of these containers upside down and that pretty much it's not perfectly airproof airproof airtight but um it's not bad all right so we have a couple different sizes here which is nice and let's see i could go I could put like one of these, two of these, three of these. I just kind of want to balance it out. These are from a book that I got called Gardening with Color. And uh, it's just got pictures and pictures and pictures of flowers, which are, are nice. I'm pretty sure I got it at the thrift store for cheap is why I would have got it. Because usually I go more for illustrations rather than um usually I go for illustrations rather than photographs so I must have got it for some reason somebody might have even recommended it and I'm highly influenced by people who recommend things so easily influenced most totes deaf so easily influenced So a lot of times I like to use my ruler. I get a nice straight line and because it's ripped instead of cut, it takes ink nicely as well. So these, because they already have orange in them, I might go ahead and just ink with some brown, mostly to get the white off the edge more than anything. And I'll use the permanent and the coffee color. Just kinda. And because I did the the torn edge, it just, it takes it a little bit nicer. That's all. Also for lace, I have these uh, ornate lace strips. So I could use one of those stencils. All right, I don't want to do, I don't need to do a lot of orange, especially if I'm going to be, I don't know if I want that. Um, so two would balance, right? Just kind of one. I need something down here. What? What do I need down here? Oh, well, I could just do lace down there. That'll just add something. But, um, oh, how about... Just a little bit of something. Oh my word, why is that so hard? All right, we have, well, I don't want to do black because then we have black and orange. Here, oh, I know, hold on. Um, I pulled out my specialty papers and I've got either, I could use this, which is from Susan. Thank you, Susan, um, which I love, which would be cool. Add a little pop of gold. Or I could use this which was from Patty, my swap partner. I don't know which side, oh, this side. I actually think I might use that. Almost, almost feels like there's like something dangerous down at the bottom for the trapeze artist to possibly fall on, right? All right, yep, I think that's it. Trying to think of um, if I want to add some more mediums, just to kind of push some of that into the background. You know, this is a little bit thicker paper, so I'm going to use my art glitter glue to glue that on. And I might still use a piece of that gold. The juxtaposition of the shiny gold with the rust might be kind of fun. Ooh, there's a tear in the paper. Love it. 
I'm, I'm kind of like Rachel Roxy Creations like that. Tears and papers. They're good things. They add character, right? Um, um, that'll be fine. Kind of. Why did that fit when I put it on and now it hangs over? I don't know. Just like that. There we go. And just like that. Do, do, do. I'm going to put a little bit of orange on the edge if I'm able to. Just kind of give it a little vignette. Sort of, kind of. Yep. Okay. And oops. Sorry about the clankiness on the glass. That's an unfortunate thing that sometimes happens. I don't mind that those lines are there either. And then I was thinking of some lace in what color? Um, whoops. Why is, oh, because it's just about gone, that's why. But the cover on the glue would be good. All right, this is beach glass. It's a nice neutrally kind of a color. So I think I'm just going to put a little bit of that, probably going to get a little bit of the, um, I've got ink on there so it might get a little bit of that, but it might not. I'm doing a really thin layer so that it will um, still be semi-transparent and kind of coming over here to the edge to this, I need a little bit more. <laughs> You either get too much or too little. There's never that happy, medium, perfect amount, right? Taking some off the, the little pad here. Going all the way to the edge on this side. Kind of flowing over onto this side. I don't think I want to go too far down onto that. Maybe just like that. And then maybe even in this in-between spot right here. Kind of edging it a little bit. There we go. All right, there we go, we got that. So it's just kind of like a, a gray blue kind of, and yes, it got on that, but that's all right. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it sort of comes off. I mean, that's if I even decide to use this. I don't have to use more than one of those. I could just use one. And I don't even have to use one because I've got the orange, I've got the orange on here. So I don't have to use the flowers at all. And now I've got the lace on there. Let's see, where'd my gal go? Here she is. She could be like sort of I don't want to cover up too much of that. I could kind of go over that. This is kind of a red orange. It's kind of cool. Oh, time. We still need time. Um, what size do I want? Do I want a larger one, smaller one, medium one? And also, what color? It's a good question, Darcy. What color? Okay, so for the time, I don't mind using like one of these, which are not, for her, I'm going to use the VersaFine. Right, let's get some of that wiped up so I don't stick my arm in it, basically. That's where we're headed. That's where we're looking for that, to not get our arm in it. Cornflower blue. That might work. 
uh, faded jeans might feel too dark. Forget me not is too too turquoise. All right, I think the cornflower blue. Um, just want it similar to the paint color, but not exact. Basically, what I'm thinking. This probably has paint on the stamp, so it's not going to stamp perfectly. And that's not a bad thing. So there's that one. And then I think I'll do another one. Over here, where's the one? The two? The twelves right there? I mean, they don't have to be perfectly perfect. Up and right, up, up, and up, you know directionally and this medium one I think I think that one's gonna get covered up quite a bit my goodness where's the one ten four what <laughs> I don't ten eleven all right there it is that's the top I like the color I picked for that. And then, um, maybe I wanna move things around a little bit. Not do them exactly how I, I think that goes, it doesn't matter how it goes. I could have it go any way that I want it to. I mean, I suppose the flowers would make more sense coming up from the bottom, but I gotta remember she goes this way. And I could put her on some tracing paper so that um, so, so she doesn't get messed up in the um, in the bits. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, this has a blue that is I'm not gonna use this one after all because the blue just doesn't work for me there. And do we have everything we have the lace, the time, orange. Lace time, orange music, and transport, because I'm considering her. Tra also, a ticket for transport would also work. Um, but she's transporting herself across across the uh, the rope. I think my husband just got home, so I might have to pause when he comes in, because he's not always... <sighs> All right, I kind of want to connect those two clocks there yeah see he's gonna come in and just start talking not even considering that I might be recording because why would he do that and then I want to connect these two clocks down here I think you don't have to connect things all right and I'm gonna stamp her on a piece of tracing paper or vellum or wet strength tissue or something. So um, I have uh, the Tim Holtz collage paper, which is of course discontinued, but I got a bunch when, when it was, when I knew it was gonna be discontinued. Um, oh, the words are backwards if I do it that way, but if I wanna do her that way, I could. So I stamped her in the blue and I stamped her in the black. And kind of thinking even though the words are upside down I think do I want to go in that way or that way I don't know I do want the rope to be somewhat you know this leaves a lot of blank space over there if I do it so I might do her backwards that's the nice thing about tissue is you have that option. Even though it makes the words backwards because there's kind of words on her. It's not that big a deal. All right, so I've got a uh, golden gel matte medium is what I have in here. And I'm just going to attempt to use that. Why is it blocked? Because the glue gods are against me always. They are always against me. If you ever wonder if the glue gods are against me, yes, the answer is yes. I had to look for my, my hat pin. This one's wide enough that, oh, the hat pin will work. Whoops, there's a needle in there too. 
just had to unclog it. Oh my word. And I'm sure my husband's like, can you come upstairs now to come home? Whatever. I'm just gonna squirt some. Oh, that is way more than I need. Oh well. Grab my brush out of the water. And since that's way more than I need, I'm just gonna go ahead and just cover. <laughs> Let's hope that Laura used some permanent ink on there. Whoops. And she's going this way. And then hopefully it, the paper will mostly disappear. Okay, and then whether we wanted to or not, we have got it covered and sealed. And now it'll just need to dry. But I don't necessarily love the um the um the lines from the brush. So even though I'm taking a chance by doing that like that on that tissue. But you see, if I had just done the stamp right there, well first of all, I would have had only one direction to be able to use it. And secondly, uh where the bump is there, it it would have been white usually is what happens. I mean, if you tried stamping on collage paper, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then show you it. If, oh, if I had some um, saran wrap, then that would be like good for like pushing the bubbles out of the, uh, the tissue under there, but I don't. So I just use that plastic and then just wipe it off because why not? And it, it was effective in getting the bubbles out, at least where she was. That's where I cared most about getting the bubbles out. And then you can reuse it if you use something like that because you can just wipe it off. So if you have like a piece of acetate, that might work instead of a saran wrap. So there is that. It's still a little wet, but um, it mostly disappeared. And is there anything else I want to do? I've definitely used the prompts. I've used all the prompts. Do we want to pull out a bonus prompt and see if we want to add anything else to it? Or just kind of do... I don't know. It's, it's kind of simple and I don't mind that it's simple. I'm sure some people would be like, no, you need to add more. And some people would probably be like, no, that's good. That's enough. So there we are. We've got the lace in the background, the music, the time, the orange, and the... What was the fifth one? I don't know. I'm kind of supposed to remember all... Oh, here's my cards. I was like, where are my cards? I get all discombobulated, and, and then somebody knocked on the door, and so then I had to, like, sit here and wait while uh, my husband talked to them. So we had the lace, and the music, and the time. Oh, transport. That was the other one. Because it's not quite so obvious, is it, the way I used it. So, yeah. Sorry. I'm just going to... I want them to line up a little bit. So, there we go. Well, I'm just going to... I'm just setting this up to take a picture. You don't have to sit around for that. <laughs> I hope you all have a delightful day. And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, feel free to use the prom prompts that I pulled if you want to or if you've made your own prompt cards or prompt lists use dice or whatever you want to do uh, go and have fun and make some art you could do it in a journal like this you could do it on a piece of ephemera make a tag using the prompts prompts are just nice to get you headed in a direction when you might not have had um, a direction in the first place you know what i'm saying so i hope you all have a delightful day love you I'm just going to sit here and mess around with this a little bit more, apparently. Oh, I don't, yeah, that's better. That's not quite as straight. And then, oh, there we go. How about that for a picture? Have a really guys. Love you.